Hey, what's up you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs and I want to install and I wanted to install a video doorbell for a while, but I knew with this new tone intercom system that it was gonna be a little more complex than just literally installing the doorbell. And I'll show you why. So I have this much larger cavity, basically independent of which video doorbell you go with. I'm going with the Eufy, and the reason I went with this one is I was looking for one with battery power, and hopefully for about half the year before I'd have to recharge it. And that's because when we moved into the home, we did a lot of drywall work, and part of that was removing all the intercoms and removing the transformer that provided power to this. So I have no longer have power out to the doorbell location, so battery power was a must for me. And also this one, stores locally so you don't have to pay a monthly subscription like i believe you do with ring so that's why i went with this one but here is what we're going to be addressing today and that is when you wanted to mount this right you have this huge cavity so you have to have an option of getting a base plate that would cover that and one make it look good it'll be weather tight and it'll just be a nice fit and finish but two you don't want to spend a ton of money and you might not want to wait for one online because they do make custom plates that will cover this exact box, this new tone box, and then you can mount your doorbell on top of that. I think they run about 15 to $20. I'll put a link in the description to some examples of those. But if you go out, grab a doorbell and you want to install it today, here's a quick option that will be only about five bucks in materials and it'll get you up and running in one day. Since I no longer have power out to this box, I'm just gonna cut these wires off and without any issue and then keep the face plate because I'm going to use that later on as the template in the project. At most of your home improvement stores, you'll see a project wood shelf like this, which will have balsa wood for planes and other projects, and then small plywood for birdhouses and things. So I used a six inch by 12 inch piece. The six inch is pretty much what I want for the overall width, but then I do need to cut it to height. So I'm just gonna measure the width of the mortar here and put that at the bottom and the width of the mortar at the top. So I just have a little bit of an overhang. Using that mark and a speed square to make sure the line is cut straight, I'll use a skill saw to cut it to length with a 60 tooth blade. Okay, so now we have our piece and I'm gonna do a little sanding later on, but right now I want to get the mounting holes placed. So I'm gonna take the cover plate for the old intercom system and I want to center this within the new base plate that we're making. So half inch on that side, a little bit more than a half inch, and then a con consistent gap from top to bottom. Now all I'm going to do is I'm using the same mounting locations, so I'm just going to take the screw and pass that through the hole straight down and then just press that in trying not to move the cover plate too much. And just do that for both hole locations. Okay, so it usually is pretty hard to see those. So before you get too far, just make sure you can see the mounting locations and mark those with a Sharpie. Okay, so those are the two locations that I'll need to drill the holes. So just taking the screws, you're gonna right size your drill bit. For this one, I'm just using a 5 30 seconds drill bit, which is gonna allow these to pass through those holes and then thread into the box that would be underneath this. And then just check and make sure that those screws pass through, which they do. Okay, so those two mounting screws are good and that's gonna hold this base plate then to the house. And now we need to mount the bracket for your video doorbell to this base plate. Okay, so now with just a struck line down the middle of the base plate, and most of the video doorbells will come with 
a template so you can get your screw holes right. Usually you'd put this on your vinyl siding or the brick to use to know where to drill the holes. But we're gonna use this, and I struck a line along this as well. So now I can just match up my lines and the positioning so it's centered in the plate. Okay, so since I'm going to be painting, spray painting this base plate, and I'm gonna remove this sticker, and I'm not gonna mount the bracket for the video doorbell yet. All I wanna do is, is drill some pilot holes within this base plate. The only thing I need to consider is the drill bit needs to be much smaller than the mounting screw, just so those screw threads will have plenty of wood to dig into. Okay, now with those in place, I can take the template off. So now I'm ready to start prepping the surface and then putting some paint, which I'm just gonna use some spray paint on this base plate. First, I'm just gonna do some light sanding. Now, once your surface is prepped and you clean it out from any dust or debris, what I'm gonna do just so I can easily paint this is I'm gonna flip it over on the backside and I'm gonna put some legs, barely driving these in. Basically just once they start to grip, that's all the deeper you need to go. Now that I'll have a base, so now I can spray paint all around. And I do want to spray paint the other underside just to protect it from the elements that I'll be exposed to, especially the ply side as moisture can start to deteriorate that over time. Okay, and then I'm just gonna use some Rust-Oleum here, some basic paint and primer in one, and, and the color is flat black. All right, now we'll let that dry. Another tip is the two mounting screws I'm gonna use. I'm just, just cut off a little Solo cup or a disposable cup. Spray a little paint in the bottom of that. Not too much, but you do need some covering because then I have now just used that scrap piece of plywood, put the, the screws inside or drilled them on there and now I'm just going to dip the heads and get, give them a covering of that same black. I'll do that a couple times just to make sure that, that these are the same color once I mount it. Alright, so I did four coats. Overall, I think we're ready to go. And also, like I said, I covered the back just so it would preserve the wood long-term. The only other difference that I did is I did use a larger five, let's see if you can see that, five sixteenths drill bit to put a countersink. And that's so the mounting bracket wouldn't interfere with these screws that will then, they will secure the base plate to the house and I want that to be flush because then the mounting bracket will go to these screw holes and I wanted all that to line up correctly and not to interfere with the base plate screws. Now prior to securing to the house, I am going to put some interior exterior all-purpose caulk. It looks white now, but it actually does dry clear on the perimeter of this base plate. I just want to help seal it up so we don't get moisture behind the base plate long term. With the top mounting screw through the hole, I'll line everything up and start to thread it in and then press that caulk against the brick. Then just drill in the bottom mounting screw, lightly tightening not to chip off the paint from the screws. 
then taking the mounting with a wedge that comes in the kit so it angles towards the front door, I'll hand tighten these mounting screws, being careful not to strip anything out as these screws are pretty small and easy to strip. Taking a torpedo level, I'll make sure everything is level prior to doing the final tightening. Now putting the video doorbell in place, everything looks lined up and great. So that completes our project and overall I'm really happy with the look. It was quick and easy, under $10 for all the materials and that same day I went from really not having a plan, going to get the materials at the big box store and then getting that installed so now I can set up my video doorbell. If you have any questions, a lot of these different scenarios, yours might be slightly different. Hopefully this just gave you an idea of how to attack that project. But again, in the description, one, I'll show you all the tools and stuff that, that I used uh, for this video, but also I'll show you those pre-made. If you actually had a new tone intercom doorbell like I did, there are pre-made ones that you can buy if that's the preferred route that you'd like to go. But before taking off, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have weekly videos like this one coming out to help you with your repairs and improvements around the house, and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.